What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable, and welcome to my channel, Curls of a CPA. We're taking you on my perfectly imperfect journey, and today we're gonna get into the cleanest products that I've ever used on my natural hair, featuring some of my faves from Flora and Curl. I've been using Flora and Curl for about two and a half years now, so it's no stranger to me. However, let me tell you a little bit more about the brand, since some of you may not even know about them, or you may need a refresher. So Flora and Curl is actually a black woman-owned brand. They're based in the UK and they are like in the clean, plant-powered, botanical product category. And they do promote that they are made for all hair types, but they specifically like to stress that they are made for textured, curly, coily hair. And for my ingredient conscious people, or maybe you're sensitive to certain things, their products are 100% naturally derived. And all other products are mineral oil, paraben, silicone, sulfate, synthetic fragrance, and synthetic color free. And if that wasn't enough, they recently decided to focus on increasing their sustainability by updating their packaging. I'll put some pictures on the screen of what their products used to look like, and they were cute. It was giving flora. It was definitely in the theme, okay? But this is what their products look like now. And what they decided to do was drastically decrease their use of plastic. And so now the products are gonna come in these recyclable aluminum bottles. And get this, their products are manufactured using 100% green energy, which we love to see. Now, I am in no way an environmentalist, but I like to do my part when I can, okay? And so shout out to Floor and Curl for their advances in their sustainability journey. And also shout out to them for partnering me with this video to not just tell you about all the cool new things that they're doing, but also to share some of the products that I have been loving with you guys. But make sure you check out their website. I'll put links down below to all the products that I use and mention. And I'll also include some of my other faves that I'm not gonna show in this video down in the description box as well. So if you want the tea on these plant-powered green and energy products, then keep watching. <laughs> what is up guys? I got a special package. <laughs> First of all, my package got wet, so I had to let give it time to dry, um, cause I didn't want to open. I'm okay. <laughs> I didn't want to have to open the box while it was wet. It was very difficult. So now that it's dry, Let's have a look-see. I am just too excited to have these products in my hand. I'm also confused about how to open this box. Excuse me while I struggle. <laughs> I'm about to tear this box up. <laughs> oh wow, this is like nicely packed. It's all rolled up. <laughs> all right, so what is first? Ooh, this feels like quality. So first we have the Hydrate Me Rose Water Curl Mist. Come on, packaging. Next I have the Style Me Sweet Hibiscus Curl Activating Lotion. I love this product. Yummy, yummy leave-in. Yeah, I definitely dented these products when I dropped them by accident. I'm so sorry, I dropped them box. This feels so good in my hand though, I must say. All right, next up we've got the Bay. I can't believe they put this in a bottle. This is the Style Me Sweet Hibiscus Twist and Braid Cream. Love this cream. <sighs> it's so good. Next we have the Protect Me Citrus Superfruit Radiant Shampoo. Come on packaging, this is so cute. Next we have the Protect Me Citrus Superfruit Radiant Mask. Love this mask. Last but not least, we have the Protect Me Citrus Superfruit Radiant Oil. So I'm very excited. They're also so pretty, oh my goodness, and so, uh, let's go wash our hair. <laughs> so I'm starting off with one week old hair and yes, you are not seeing things. I indeed do have curls in the front of my hair and somewhat of a stretch twist out in the back. I was experimenting with some styles and products so it's definitely giving product buildup. And my hair also feels a bit mushy so I'm looking forward to starting fresh with this wash day. And after thoroughly saturating my hair with warm water, I'm going in with the Flora and Curl Citrus Super Fruit Radiant Shampoo from their Protect Me collection. And this shampoo has a gel-like consistency that lathers up really well, really quickly without having to add any extra water, which I sometimes have to do while I'm filming. And even though the shampoo spreads nicely, since it's on the clarifying side of things, I do not finger detangle. I just kind of separate and smooth, but no finger detangling. Now in terms of the ingredients, the key ingredients for the entire Protect Me collection are papaya oil, which protects the hair, watermelon oil, which rejuvenates the hair and scalp, 
soap and bamboo leaf extract that strengthens the strands inside and out. And the ingredients highlighted specifically for the shampoo are argon oil, tangerine oil, and sweet orange oil, which were combined to cleanse dull curls, invigorate, and add a radiant shine. And after the first rinse, I could still feel a slight coating of last week's product on my hair. So I went in a second time with the shampoo and after scrubbing my scalp, working them suds through my strands, smoothing and all the things, and then rinsing again, my scalp feels so refreshed and my hair feels really clean, which is exactly what I was looking for. Next, I'm going in with the Flora and Curl Super Fruit Radiance Mask, which is also from the Protect Me collection. And this mask has a silky, lotion-like consistency that almost melts away when you rub your hands together. Now, I love me a thick mask, but masks like these take less effort to distribute throughout my strands, and I typically don't have to add extra water to get good slip or coverage. I love how the mask just melts and softens my hair, and my curls feel like they have a little extra bounce back as well. And y'all already know the drill, I apply the mask all over, then I separate my hair into smaller sections to make sure that every strand is coated. And because the slip is really nice, I also finger detangle as well. And the mask also has papaya and watermelon oil, but the ingredients that are highlighted on the bottle are argon oil, avocado oil, and bamboo extract, which are all supposed to help smooth the cuticle and boost the hair's natural shine and color. They recommend that you use this mask whenever your hair is feeling dull, lackluster, and brittle. And since I need a trim badly and I've been low-key neglecting my hair, oh, I'm here for all the things. <laughs> I followed the instructions and kept the mask in for about 15 minutes with the plastic cap, but I also took it a bit further and I sat under my hooded dryer just so I can get some heat into the equation since I was only keeping it on for 15 minutes. And after deep conditioning, my hair feels so good. It's soft, the curls are popping, and my hair has absorbed a good amount of the product. And then after rinsing, my hair feels soft, it feels hydrated, I can feel and see a small improvement in my hair's elasticity, and my hair also feels smoother as well. Definitely recommend that you give this mask a try if you're looking for a good balanced mask. Now that my hair is nice and prepped, I'm going in with the Flora and Curl Sweet Hibiscus Curl Activating Lotion from the Style Me Collection. And this also has a lotion-like consistency, but it has a bit more weight than the mask does. And can we talk about how easy this product is to distribute? Like my hair is just drinking it up. And since my hair is leaving no crumbs, I'm being very heavy handed with this leave-in. It's actually one of those like buildable products. And since I'm familiar with it, I already know how much my hair is gonna need. But as a reference, when you see me pumping, I'm pumping out about 20 pumps at a time. It seems like a lot, but those are like 20 short pumps, if that makes sense. And as you guys can see, I'm pressing the lotion into my strands and I'm also lightly finger detangling as well. Per usual, the goal is to leave no strand left behind. And this may not be the case for everyone depending on your hair characteristics, but for me, I find that with this product and also with the cream I'm gonna be using, the more product I use, the less frizz I encounter, which you'll see later. But in terms of ingredients, the key ingredients for the Style Me collection are sweet hibiscus to add shine and protect the hair, burdock root to soften and define, and then rice protein to strengthen the curls and provide volume. And then the ingredients specifically highlighted for the curl activating lotion are marshmallow root and hibiscus botanicals, which were put together to activate the curls and prep the hair for styling. And best believe I am prepped. <laughs> and now that I'm done applying the lotion all over, I'm going to neatly section my hair, put on a cap while I shower and get into some dry clothes. And here I am about 10 minutes later and my hair is still really soft and it's absorbed about 60% of the product, which is normal when I put my cap on. And I don't think I mentioned this before, but the slip on this lotion is actually really good. And so uh, once I take each section down, I'm going to thoroughly detangle with my brush. And then I'm going in with Bay. It's the Flora and Curl Sweet Hibiscus Twist and Braid Cream from the Style Me collection as well. And baby, <laughs> I was so worried about this pump being able to handle this cream, but y'all, it did not disappoint. Okay. <laughs> and the texture of this cream is almost like a body butter. Like it's smooth, but it also has a little bit of give, kind of like a paste, you know? And when I put this cream on my hair, I like instantly feel it smoothing my strands. And just like the lotion, the cream is also buildable, but because this used to be in a jar, I'm really not sure how much product I need because I'm just not used to having to measure it this way. And so I'm just playing around with the amount of pumps, but I found that about 10 to 15 pumps worked well for each section. And then if I felt like my strands were not smooth enough, I would add an extra. The thing to remember about this cream as well, if you're looking for more hold and definition, you're gonna wanna use more product. If you're just looking for more volume, you would use less product. I'm looking for definition and so I'm going in. And since I plan on wearing my twist to work tomorrow, I'm installing my twist a little smaller than 
than usual. I would say these are about medium size, maybe three to five twists per section. And I'm also taking my time as I twist just to make sure they are neat as possible. And taking my time looks like smoothing while I twist, maybe detangling when I realize that my ends are starting to tangle up and also keeping my hands close together while twisting as well. And of course, the most important part is twirling my ends. If your ends don't coil, this is your moment to add a little perm rod or something on your ends. And in terms of ingredients, the cream also has the burdock root, it has the rice protein, just like the rest of the Stami collection. But the highlighted ingredients are cocoa butter, mango butter, and hibiscus extract. And you put all that together and it's supposed to help you style and softly define your twists, braids, bantu knots, or whatever you choose. And now that I'm done, these are what my twists are looking like. And I love these guys. It's been a while since I've done my twist this small. I've been being a little lazy with my twist outs these days. So I'm super excited to wear these to the office tomorrow. It's gonna be giving twisted bob, but I have been standing for long enough. I'm gonna go sit under my hooded dryer for about 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna air dry the rest of the way and come back when my twists are fully dry. See you soon. What is up guys? It is the end of my work day and I just wanted to come and show you what my twists are looking like. Just in case I wake up in shambles, but my twist look so good they feel really good let me just get you a close up you see that twist looks so good oh mm, i almost don't want to take them out but i gotta show y'all what the twist out is giving right and so i'm gonna come back tomorrow and take my hair down before work and then uh you know give you my final thoughts and all that stuff but Honestly, I don't think I've ever had a bad twist out using Floor and Curl. So yeah, and the twists are just like so shiny. Look at that. But I'm gonna go put my scarf and my bonnet on and get ready for bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. And here I am the next day. I was fortunate that my scarf and bonnet did not fall off in my sleep and y'all. First of all, my twists still look really good, guys. You can see it. It's like no frizz. To take down my hair, I'm using two pumps of the Flora and Curl Citrus Super Fruit Radiance Oil, also from the Protect Me collection. And I'm applying it all over my hair and even rubbing some on my scalp. And it's pretty lightweight, but it still has a bit of balminess to it, kind of like a serum does. And it's also really softening to my hair as well. As for the ingredients, some of the oils included are jojoba, kalahari, crombi, tangerine, papaya, avocado, and watermelon oils, which all come together to provide a non Non greasy protective layer that helps your curls retain moisture and shine. And this is a multi purpose oil that you can use for hot oil treatments. You can use it as a frizz minimizing serum and even as protection against potential damage from the sun, the ocean, and chlorine water. So clearly, this oil did not come to play. <laughs> And as I unravel the twist, I'm taking my time and separating wherever I see an open space. For the strands that need a little extra encouragement to separate, I run my thumbs and pointer fingers in a downward motion and press lightly against my strands to see if I notice any spaces. When I see the space, that is where I gently separate. And these are my results, guys. It is definitely giving. It has the right amount of volume. The definition is on point. The hold is there. I even have a little shine. And I love this for me. But I'm <laughs> I'm gonna head to work and come back when I'm ready to give you guys my final thoughts. See you later. And here I am many hours later. My hair has held up really nicely. And when I tell you it is cold, it is cold. It's cold, the air is dry. And one thing I was not worried about was my hair drying out because baby, it feels so good. Like I, I'm gonna be honest, is this a safe place? When I think of botanical products, I do not think of products that are made for my hair. I don't. I think of really lightweight. I think of like no oils, no butters. Like that's kind of the vibes. However, with Florida Curl, like I said, it, they are botanical products. They are plant, you know, plant based, plant derived. However, they're made with textured hair in mind. And when I tell you my hair feels amazing, it feels amazing okay i'm gonna go through like i typically do and just do like a quick review overview of each product that i use and then my final thoughts and get y'all out of here okay first thing we're going to talk about is a shampoo like i mentioned before this shampoo is clarifying okay I I'm not going I'm not going to hold you. This is very clarifying. However, when you rinse it, your hair is not going to feel straw like. It is just going to feel really clean. And what I love about the shampoo is that when I rinse my hair, my scalp feels refreshed. Like I can feel the difference, okay? And I cleanse with this twice like you guys saw because I had like a, you know, a little bit of buildup and that second shampoo 
After the second shampoo, I could see like my, my curls got, you know, like a luster to it. I could feel that strip. The first shampoo, I did not feel that like super clean feeling, but the second one, I definitely did feel it. And so I would say if you're someone who you're afraid of clarifying shampoos, you can shampoo with it once and it won't sh completely strip your hair. But if you like your hair to be clean, clean, give your hair two goes with this clean, clean, refresh, ready for everything, okay? The scent is really pleasant. It has like a citrusy kind of scent, but it is not strong at all. Like the scents of all these products are really mild. I think it smells good. You don't need a lot of it. I feel like the lather was really nice for a sulfate-free shampoo. You know, I mean, I guess we need to stop saying that. I feel like sulfate-free shampoos have been good for a long time. And this is one of them, so. Definitely recommend this if you're looking for a nice cleansing shampoo. Next up, I use the Floor & Curl Protect Protect Me Citrus Super Fruit Radiant Mask. I love this deep conditioner. It is one of those good, good balance and masks. And if you know me, you know balance is my middle name. Well, no, it's actually something else, but you get my drip. My curls always look and feel really good. I usually have a nice bit of shine. My hair absorbs the product really nicely. Like this is just a really good mask. And I love that I feel like my hair feels like stronger and also moisturized. Like it's really a good, good balance. It's like smack dab in the middle for me. And I love this. I definitely recommend this. And you don't need a lot of it. You know, like if your hair is actually like thin or if you have um, like a low density, you could get away with using the smallest amount of this product. Now, one thing I will say about the aluminum packaging is I cannot see how much product that I use, but it still feels full, okay? When it was in the jar, I probably could get two and a half uses, but I feel like with the pump, I'm almost like forced to use less product because less comes out at a time. I didn't feel the urge to have to take off the cover. It was like a good flow of product and it's not like a super thick deep conditioner. And I think I can get a good three uses, so we'll see. I'll check back in to let you know how many uses I got out of this, but just know that I love this when it was in the jar and I love it in the bottle as well. Now I did do a video on Instagram where I shared like my first impressions of this and the shampoo. And so I'll leave a link to that in the description box so you could check it out. But it was definitely love it for its use, for sure. Yes, definitely recommend this. Next is a curl activating lotion and this is Bay. okay? This is one of the products that I've used consistently throughout the years and it does not ever fail me. This is a part of their style collection and so you could use it as a styler. I have used it as a styler actually. I put my little, my, my video down below. I did something else on Instagram where I did like a battle of the stylers and I used this as a styler. And this was actually one of the winners. It wasn't the winner. I'm not gonna tell you who won, y'all can guess. But this can be used by itself if you like a more lightweight product for sure but it is an amazing leave-in conditioner. I love the definition I get. I love the moisture that I get. It's chef's kiss. Next up, <laughs> it's Bay. It is the Sweet Hibiscus Twist and Braid Cream. This is one of my favorite products from Flora and Carl, guys. I have killed this cream, like emptied, okay? Love this cream so much. I use it on my wet hair. I use it on my dry hair. I have never, I don't think I've ever used this cream and not like my twist out. It gives really good hold. It smooths my hair. I get nice shine. Now, if you go back and look at my original video where I used these two together, when I looked at my twist out, the, that twist out wasn't as popping as this one, okay? And I'm not gonna say that my hair was in a worse condition then because I feel like my hair was looking real fresh trim in that video. But what I will say is one, it was a summer. Two, I did get rained on. But then three, my prep was a little different. My wash day was really centered around scalp health and cleansing, but I did not use a deep conditioner. And then also my twists were bigger, but that's beside the point. What I will say is I find that my twist outs come out better when I'm heavy handed with the products. That's what I find. The products are buildable. And so I would say if you use them and you're like, mm, I didn't really get the hold or mm, my twists are not looking good, I would say, just increase the amount of product that you use. I am not shy when it comes to the application. And that's why, you know, when it comes to buildable products, that's what makes them for all hair types, right? Because the less you use, the less hold you get maybe, or the less moisture, the less weight, right? And so, yeah, 
buildable for sure. Even though I'm usually not light-handed, I still find that the products like go a long way, okay? I was really shocked about this cream and this bottle. Okay, I was nervous. It's not a light cream. Like it has some weight. It has some like, you know, it's, yes. So I was nervous, but I didn't have to open this bottle, okay? I didn't have to open the bottle. It came out, I had enough. And so, yeah, I would say that this uh, container packaging switcheroo is definitely a win, okay? The last product that I use is their Citrus Superfruit Radiance Oil. And I like this oil. It is a very softening oil. It gives nice shine. It doesn't make my hair feel like super oily, but it doesn't, it's not like extremely lightweight. Like it's just a good, it's just a good oil. I've used this for a while now and I've used it on my, I use it on my body sometimes. Just don't tell nobody. <laughs> it feels good on my body, it feels good on my hair. It's a good oil, nothing to complain about. Now one thing that I did not use this time around but I have used in the past is the Hydrate Me Rose Water Curl Mist. This is a refreshing spray. The, the way I used it in the past was I used it when I was like refreshing my style. Not necessarily like my curls per se, but you can use it for that. But what I did was I sprayed it on my hair before I like brushed it out to do like a stretch style. So like I had a twist out, I sprayed this on my hair and kind of, you know, kind of like pressed it in to rehydrate my hair. I brushed it to detangle it and stretch it out. And then I did a stretch twist out. That's how I used it in the past. I don't remember my experience spraying this on my actual curls, but I do remember it being hydrating when I used it the way I used it. And so if you're into refreshing sprays, I think that you should give this one a try. Definitely something good to have in your arsenal. And it does have like a rose kind of smell to it. It's like light and floral. One thing that I did want to mention, it, it's not a deal breaker for me, but I wanted to mention it just in case this has happened to you. My bottles did dent. I don't know if it happened during transit or when I tragically dropped my box from midair. I'm okay. <laughs> All these bottles that are kind of like wider, they don't have any damage to them, but I do have some dents in my like skinny bottles. It doesn't take away from the beauty of the product. It's still beautiful. It doesn't mess with the functionality either. And so just wanted to let you know. Now in terms of the longevity of this twist out, my floor and curl twist outs usually last me a good while. I can get a good week out of them before I have to put them in a puff. And this feels like even better than all the other twist outs that I've done. Like I have less frizz I find and it's it's probably that prep. <laughs> Okay, the prep. And then also I use a little more product this time around as well. And yeah, I don't really see any frizz like that. My hair just feels like solid, soft, but solid. Like the hold is definitely there. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go an entire week, but I'll give you guys an update so you can see the progression of the twist out. And here I am three days later. I'm here at the hair salon. Um, just waiting to be seen. I, I wanted to show my twist out. This is day four of my twist out and six days since wash day. And guys, the moisture, <laughs> definition, and hold are still there. I'm actually about to get a trim, which is the only reason I'm not keeping this twist out. And the crazy thing is I didn't have time to detangle on my hair before coming to the salon, which is what I typically do. But thank God me and my tender head had no issues with tangles or dryness. So yeah, this combo <laughs> is a banger. So overall, <laughs> this was a dope, wash and style experience. A special shout out to Flora and Curl for their commitment to being sustainable and probably being the most sustainable black woman owned brand on the market. We love to see it. I can't <laughs> wait to see what's in store for them in 2024 and beyond. And I'll make sure to keep you guys posted if I hear anything as well. But that's it guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions. I'm gonna put the links to the products that I use down below, but that's it guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, Questions. Me and this bomb twist out are going to go to bed. Okay, it's been a long day, but I know you're up watching and you're binging YouTube. So I'm gonna put some videos over here for your viewing pleasure. I'll put my flash floor and curl video up here and then I'll put something else down here. But until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you peace, love, and good sustainable hair care vibes. Bye guys, see you in the next one. It's giving Easter, okay? <laughs>